everyone, we're back. My name is Sky Tanager, and we are playing some Xenosaga episode three. I'm, pff, my brain, man. We we're going down the tube to hell again. Dooby 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 doo. Ooh, it's super spiffy. No, seriously, this game, this game's graphics blew my mind when I was a kid. Completely, completely and utterly blew my mind as a kid. Like, whoa, nice graphics! <laughs> that trope. Fuck. Uh. Ooh. That's a thing I want. EX skill key. T oh, that opens up um, some more skills in the skill tree for people. I think. Maybe. <laughs> I can't remember, man. Okay. Anyway! Anything over here? Doesn't look like it! Okay, you, you go over there. And I just say fuck it and go around the guy in the front. If I don't have to fight, I'm not gonna fight. That's just how it is. I'm lazy, and I want to cut out the least amount of footage as possible. Oh, I guess Junior's not gonna talk. Where are we? What's the huge cylinder? Momo, can you analyze the structure? Yes. The block seems to control the Merkaba's power. The core area where Dr. Ms. <laughs> where Dr. Dimitri Yuryev is believed to be is north of this block. To get to the core area, we'll need to stop the shaft from the center of the cylinder from rotating and open a connecting passage. So... First, we need to stop this huge shaft. That's what she said. <laughs> Let's go! I eat. Again. That is what she said. Okay, so it's got a save point there. So I assume I gotta do something in one area. And then some dungeon-y thing on one side. It'll take you to a place where I'll end up going down to that little outcropping. And then just do it again! Sakura, let's hurry! I- Oh, god. Oh, fudge nuggets. I'm slowly kind of remembering this, actually. And I remember it being a massive headache. Yeah, I'm actually kind of remembering this being a massive headache. Though I don't know if this dungeon or Abel's Ark is the bigger headache. <laughs> One of them's a giant headache. I don't freaking know which. Okay. Ooh. I give that to you. All discs have been unequipped. Oh no, how dare. Can't remember the D. You know, it would be nice if I can remember what, like, any of these did. <laughs> Good enough. Nope, leave me alone. I don't want to fight. I run. I am coward. Leave me alone. <laughs> Again, leave me alone. I'm a pacifist. <laughs> Ignore the fact that I'm in a giant fuck off mech. Like, seriously, look at that. For PS2, these graphics and, like, the way the... Just fucking look at it! Um... This is amazing, is what I'm saying. Just the level of graphical fidelity is amazing. Also, I missed a way down there. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, I'm not controlling this. That's a tiny door! <laughs> That's it. That's the door connecting the passage to the core area. Great, but how do we get there? Uh -huh. Uh, special spiffy ways. Hey, let's press the button! <laughs> oh. To stop the shaft, please press the console stop switch after disengaging all eight locks inside the staff. Okay. Okay. Oh. 
It looks like an elevator down there. Can't seem to go that way, so can I go and use this side? No? Fudge nugget! Because <laughs> I know I have to get down there now. Okay, cool. There's just a down ways here. Oh, it just loops in on itself. I... Uh, this makes sense. Sup, bro? See ya! <laughs> it's a big loop de loop de loop de loop de loop, de loop, de loop all on itself. I'm bad at speaking. Hello? Move? Maybe. <laughs> I'm going up the shaft. Phrasing. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. That totally looks safe. You know... I should totally be feeling some mad vertigo right now. See, look at underneath. Oh, fuck. I am feeling vertigo. <laughs> sort of. See, Cosmos is slowly moving because the sh Oh, God, that's hard to look at. Underneath the glass there, because we are in that shaft that's... Oh, tits. Let's just not look at that. Like any of that. Oh, cool, Dakota. Oh. Hi. Don't mind me, I'm breaking things. <laughs> Probably should have broken the other side first, but whatever. Yeah. Must. Should have gone to the other side. Oh, this is how I'm going to get into a fight. <laughs> Oh fuck. Hi, how you doing? Uh, bye. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't start chasing me, actually. Okay, let's try this way. It'd be nice if the camera shifted behind me. It's not going to, but it'd be nice. Cause then I can see what the fuck I'm doing. Nothing over there. What the fuck? What a fearsome sight. What is that man thinking? I'd heard it was big, but I never expected it to be that big. Abel's art. Its mass exceeds that of a planet. You'd have to be insane to take on something like that. The assembly man Yuriev has even more plans in mind. I do not understand him. I tend to escape from here before I go. Let me tell you the last bit of information. Ooh! There's an iron box in the quarry with the security active right now. It's hard to get it in there. You might be able to get it if you come back at a later date. Well, obviously. Like, half of each dungeon is only opened by going to it in the EVS plate after you've cleared the dungeon. Sup, bruh. Sup, bruh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Lock seven. Lock eight. None of them are gonna stop me from doing this. <laughs> Excellent. All locks have been disengaged, we have to hit the stop switch on the fifth floor. Okay. Where's the. Oh, wait! Do I have to go hit that button again? Is that it? I assume that's it. And then I'll have to come back up, back up here, and go through the door on the. Because you can see the door on the other side there. I assume that's the one I'm gonna have to use. Time to push the button. Push the button. Yay! That's the way the game wants me to go. But is that the way I'm going to go? Next passage of the quarry to the first return to the first floor. I mean, apparently it is, because I still can't go this way. 
Oh wait, that's probably the security thing he was talking about. Duh. That shit I'm gonna do off screen. I did stream a little bit of me running around grinding. Not grinding, because I don't really grind much in this game. But doing some of like the segment address stuff. Oh wait, it's this way. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I never know what I'm doing. Totally haven't played this game a bajillion times. I wonder if my I wonder if my file for, my original file from high school of this game. I'm pretty sure it's still on one of my memory cards. Don't know which one. It's got to be on one of them. Okay. I haven't gone into a single fight on Merkaba yet. This is a little sketch. I mean, if us infiltrating Proto Merkaba wasn't obviously a trap. Already. Like, if it wasn't obviously a trap, because... Seriously, the game hasn't, like, made me fight anything. I haven't gotten in- It's so easy to dodge around all the things here. Sup, bruh? Bye, bruh. Like, big open area? Obvious- So easy to dodge around it. This feels like a trap. Oh. And then there's this part, and I remember this part's an ass. Where are we? There's more stuff here? Damn, we don't have time for this! Look, Junior, there's something written on the console. Gate to the core area is currently locked. All lock plugs and area must be destroyed to open the gate. These locked plugs gotta be by protection beam. You must disengage them in the booster room on the second floor to access them. Okay. Oh, okay. So now I have to go back out again. God damn it! <laughs> this game with the backtracking. This is what I remembered about this dungeon is it's decently easy to dodge around things most of the time. Um But also this game or this dungeon in particular has a huge problem with having to run around a backtrack. At least I won't have to go down to the first floor, because I'm, if I remember correctly, that is on the fifth floor, is on this floor. For the ES, yes. Oh, no? Yeah, mm. yes, lap, mm. elevator over here. <laughs> no, elevator's over here. Ah, there it is. Hi. Bye. Seriously, it's so easy to run away from things. <laughs> okay. Ooh, a chesticle. Come here. I'll just skill upgrade. I did get a decoder. I wonder if I have the door to that decoder. Oh well, now because I got that skill upgrade, I'm gonna have to take a long way around again! Great, wonderful, brilliant. Alright, now let's try going through the proper doorways. Maybe. Ooh! Ah. So murder all of them, right? This feels like a murder absolutely everything situation. I don't trust it. <laughs> okay. I guess it was a good thing not to trust it. Don't trust it. Nope. Nope, nope. Shit, that was the only door. Hmm, <laughs> fuck it. I don't know if this is the way I'm supposed to go or not. Or if that entire downstairs area is actually not where I'm supposed to go. If I press the... 
Okay, so we do have to go to the four. Great, more backtrack. You have to backtrack all the way because we have to go one place, another place, another place, another place, another place. And that is how you get through Xenosaga. <laughs> Ah, uh, criminy Christmas, man. Ah, criminy, criminy Christmas. Yeah, I'm just running around here, killing all these cores. Sure, this is fine. Nothing bad's gonna happen, right? Nothing's gonna come out of nowhere and kill me? I assume. That is a weird ca time for a camera change. Oh, there is places that have m and &E's. I am shook. Ooh, a chesticle. Gimme. Bonk. Oh, some of those have money in them. That one doesn't. Oh, fuck! <laughs> You fucking got me, game. <laughs> First time we got into a fight. First time I got into a fucking fight. Game, you fucking got me. Seriously, that was the first time I've gone into a fight in this dungeon. Like, period. Ugh. The only reason I didn't do it is because I'm lazy and I don't want to cut out more shit. I think that's all of them? Unless I'm missing something. I see the doors are open. Okay, all protective beams are disengaged. That means I should be able to just go back with the ESs to that other area, right? When you're running towards the screen, it can get, it's fairly difficult to figure out where the enemies are so you can avoid them. I'm gonna seriously get through this dungeon without, <laughs> without getting a single fight. Just you watch. Just you watch. I mean, I did technically get into a fight when I got jump scared. But I just easily ran away from it. Fuck it. <laughs> Aww. My bunnies are being cute. Stop distracting me. I'm trying to record. Don't you know this is my only job right now because of the pandemic? No, seriously. <laughs> the only thing I'm making money on is YouTube and Twitch and Etsy and Patreon and all that jazz because I ain't getting no hours at work like anybody else. Four two, right? I believe. Ain't nobody getting no hours in the pandemic unless you're an essential worker in a grocery store or something. By the way, the only reason I put air quotes by essential worker there is um, some people who shall not be named love to cry. Oh, the essential workers. They, we need them to... to stay at their jobs even in the pandemic and no we're not going to give them more pay we're not going to give them hazard pay for it. and then you know immediately when you know we have a vaccine and everything oh I forgot to press the switch um once we have a vaccine and everything suddenly it goes from essential worker and hero and oh these people are what makes the world go round to immediately uh burger flipper unnecessary oh why are we gonna pay them and we're not gonna why am i getting into a rant like this on a xenosaga freaking let's play i don't know long story short tip your fucking workers or yeah <laughs> i don't even know how i got on that tangent this is this kind of shit that happens when i'm recording at 11 o'clock at fucking night Shrug. Shrug. Shrug.
Okay. Let's hit the fucking button. <laughs> what? What? Uh. I am confused. <laughs> I'm missing something. What am I missing? I don't get it. <laughs> I found one that I missed. I think. Maybe? Yes. Cool. I missed a direction. <laughs> I think. Maybe? Oh, yeah, segment address. Yep, I definitely missed a direction. Do I have the key? I do have the key. What's in here? Sweet pain is in here! <laughs> sweet, sweet pain! Well, what even is that? Ooh, actually. Yeah. Um, sweet. What's sweet pain? I want to see what sweet pain is. Oh. Max boost plus one, recovery ether plus. Oh, I want to give that to, um, Momo. Why do I have so many dog tags? <laughs> How the hell did I get so many dog tags? Man, I don't even know anymore. Okay. Hi! Please don't kill me. <laughs> I got shit to do. Oh, here we go. Here's where I gotta go. Yay! Gate to the court should be open. Yay! This is gonna end well. That is a long corridor. <laughs> Feel sorry for the people who have to uh, get to work every day. I... Why was I facing that way? <laughs> I was facing the wrong direction, bro. This seems like a good idea. This seems like a good idea. This is a bad idea. Again, where is everyone? Oh, they're there. <laughs> Wait, where's Cosmos? The door closed. <laughs> where is she? <laughs> Hi, Sellers! For someone. You are very sneaky for somebody who is in a hover chair. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't think you'll find the results you desire here. Dr. Sellers? I see. So you're the one behind Uriel. Not really. I thought you'd been currying favor with Ormus. Why are you back with Uriel? I don't care what the vessel is. I will make use of all available options to obtain what I desire. I... I've always built my own path. Do you realize how many innocent people you've dragged into your schemes? Don't worry about it, it's You're fine. You're no different, you are TV. Uh, mm, pretty sure he is. How many comrades did you sacrifice so that you could live? Hardly the same thing, bro. I... Exactly. To accomplish great things. It's only natural to ignore trivial sacrifices. No, the other URTVs attacked him because they went nuts because of Udu and he killed them in self-defense. I mean, except for that one time where he disengaged their mental link which caused them to get infected in the first place. However, even in that play, Junior knew that if they kept going, they were all fucked, so. But I was still unable to reach the level of that man. I... Everything I built was nothing more than pale imitations. You're not as good as Mizrahi. Why? How much of a difference could there be between him and me? Well, Mizrahi was actually a good guy, sort of, so. No, perhaps this is exactly the difference between us. In the end, I too was that man's pale imitation. Sorry, but we don't have time to listen to an old man's ramblings. Where's my father? How should I know? Or go and find Junior's daddy. Tell without asking me. 
Shouldn't you? You are TV. What do you mean? You URTVs are connected to each other, right? Then just search to see where your comrade is now. Guinan? No, it can't be! Guinan's body's been taken over! So, you really didn't know what 669's real purpose was. His real purpose? URTVs 668 and 669. Which is Citrine and Guinan. They're real was to destroy Unit 666, the Red Dragon. You. Oh shit! <laughs> and the final model, 669, also had an additional purpose. The rebirth of Dmitry Yuryev. What? 666 is Junior, aka Rubido. 667 is Albedo. 668 is Shatrine, the only female. And 669 is Negredo, or Guinan. A large Just to recap. Of designer children were created for the live transfer experiments of organic beings during the early stages of the UMN. Dmitry Yuryev was one of them. That man is the original Salvatore. My father is the original Salvatore? He's the only one. He's hundreds of years old. Transfer experiments. Hundreds of years old. He made contact with Udu within the UMN and was overcome with fear. But in exchange, he also gained a special power. The same one that all URTVs have. Because they're all... Clones slash made from Yuri's DNA. The ability which is why they're to daddy. transfer his mind to others. <gasps> 669 Nigredo was born to be Yuryev's vessel. In order to overcome his fear of Udu, Dmitri continues to live to this day by mental transfer. Why are you telling us this, Sellers? <laughs> Once he obtained the Y data, he found the method to defeat the fear. Fortunately, your people took very good care. Of the emulators! One of the things necessary to accomplish that. The emulators and the Durandal. Yep. So are emulators that are on the Durandal, and have been on the Durandal Before since the first game. The emulators just for decoration. In each one is a record of the wave pattern data of its corresponding vessel of Anima. There's twelve emulators, I think. Yeah, twelve emulators in the thirteenth of the Zohar. There's twelve vessels of Anima, and if you remember in the first game, um. Cos when you see the emulators on the Durandal, Cosmos reads off the names that are on each one of the emulators. And they correspond to the names of different um, vessels of Anima. So it's just something that you don't really notice until you play the franchise again. They're like an ignition laser for activating the original. Damn, he's after the Durandal. Too late. <laughs> of course. It's too late for you to do anything about it. You're insane! Insane? Oh, but of course. You can't change the world without a little insanity. I mean, he's not wrong, but... <laughs> Damn you to hell! Don't get all excited. I have no intention of fighting you. My role was merely to buy time. That's all I can do after... Y'all shouldn't have noticed this. Also... Sellers is in a sort of dress outfit, and because of the way the model is, like the model is made, it totally looks like Junior's looking directly up his um, dress skirt thing right now. <laughs> now. Get out of here, or would you rather stay and be absorbed by Abel's arc? Mm. <laughs> Bye, Sellers. <laughs> Again, where's Cosmos? <laughs> it's a waste of time, Junior. He's beyond reason. We need to get out of here. And they, they only put the um, models that are necessary for the cutscene, which is funny to me because, again, you get things like, where's Cosmos during that whole thing? Confirmed. The Elsa escaped from the Merkaba. This is gonna end poorly. Out, detected in the region in front of us. This is it's gonna end poorly. What was that? This is gonna end poorly. The Durandal's fucked. <laughs> it's just a matter of time before they occupy all. This oh my 
my god, when I first played this game in high school, you guys, this made me so sad. Because there is no other part. There's no part of the Xenosaga franchise that you return to the most. It is like the most homely place. Fuck you, Guinan. Um, I mean, fuck you, Yuri, of taking over Guinan. Um, but the entire franchise, the Durandal is such an important part. Second only to the Elsa itself, and just watching this happen made me so depressed when I was a kid. <laughs> Because I had such an attachment to the Kukai Foundation and the Durandal. Shelly, what is going on? Only command ranking officers know how to open the gates during an emergency. Have we been hacked? No, there's nothing wrong with the system. Then what's going on here? The only ones who can release the locks are Little Master and Master Guinan. And mm! <laughs> yes, Pieta has acknowledged that the intruder is Master Guinan. No way! There he is! <laughs> Master Guinan! Yuri of you motherfucker! <laughs> Why are you here? Well done. You've done a good job in my absence. Now get some well deserved rest. Yeah, he just shot Mary. Uh, Mary! Uh, Guinan Kokai! What are you doing? How the fuck did Yuli get there? <laughs> Yeah, it's Yuriev. Bruh. I certainly didn't expect to see you here. Yuni Mizrahi. Dimitri Yuriev. Motherfucker. <laughs> yep. No, seriously, this I when I played this game when I was younger, this this scene fucked me up. <laughs> or should I say, pleased to meet you. Mary and Shelley Godwin. See, th this entire part fucked me up because I had such an attachment to Mary and Shelley and the Kukai Foundation and the Durandal. Because this game made s just means so much to me when I was a kid. Oh. That body. Is it Master Guinan's? And if this isn't even the worst, um, this game, j with this entire thing that's going down right now, just loves to just dig that knife in soon. It's just, uh... This quite convenient. Once I got used to it, it was extremely easy to use. As you can see, this ship is already under Salvatore's control. What do you think you're doing? This ship is under the jurisdiction of the Milshin government. Yes, this action is in violation of the Federation Charter. There's not really a Federation anymore, shall we? <laughs> it will be dealt with appropriately by the Milshin government. Except Milshin has been eaten by Abel. <laughs> do as you please. Though I doubt Helmer has that kind of power left. <laughs> now. I'd like to put an end to this without making you suffer. But I'm afraid that's not an option. There are things I need you to tell me. What do you want? The Arbiter Code. And that's something that only Mary and Shelley know. The Arbiter Code is the thing that lets them, um, get to the emulators. It's inside you, isn't it? That Helmer, he truly is something. Hiding the release code inside such cute young ladies. Yep. And he, need, he needs that code thing. We don't know anything. And even if we did, we aren't about to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Citrine. <laughs> evil, evil URTV. <laughs> Please don't waste your time. Besides, I think you've forgotten something. If you damage this body, then you'll lose your precious master. Well, he's too far gone anyway. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. I am number 668. But you can call me Citrine. Lovely, isn't she? Her abilities are equal to and on par with those of Negredo. I trust you understand what that means. It would be a shame to have to see those beautiful faces twisted in pain now, wouldn't it? So rude. So I do hope that you're prepared to talk voluntarily. I mean, <laughs> why did you shoot Mary in the stomach, bro? Like, why did you shoot Mary in the stomach? That's hardly What's useful to what you need. <laughs> <laughs> I need information for her. Let's shoot her in a vital area. 
Not good. It's probably been captured by Omega and the Federation fleet. They were caught totally off guard. They didn't have a chance to counterattack. Their ally attacked them without warning. It is not surprising. Have there been any calls from the Durandal? We're calling them, but there's no response. It'd be best to assume the bridge has already been occupied. Yep. That bastard wouldn't take action for no reason. He must be after the Zohar emulators. Goddamn right he is. Captain, turn us back toward the Durandal. Wait a minute, little master. Omega's right there. Don't worry about it. No, but we have to go. I can't abandon them. I. This is gonna end well. Alright, and that is going to be it for this video, you guys. Got a lot done. Got an entire dungeon done. My name is Miss Guy and I've been playing some Sonic Saga Episode 3. I'll see you all in the next video.